Dr. Sapna Verma. I am a senior consultant radiation oncologist at Apollo Hospital. Uh, today I am going to tell you a little about radiation therapy. Uh, there is a myth about radiology and radiation therapy. Some people think that both the things are same, but it's not the so. Radiology is the diagnostic part, while therapy is the treatment part. So, uh, in radiation oncology, you know, we are treating not only the cancerous tumors, not only the malignant tumors, but also the benign tumors. So many benign tumors like pituitary adenomas, schwannomas, uh, AVMs, malformations, we are treating with radiation also. Uh, but uh, definitely radiotherapy is basically people know and we all know that it is uh, to treat the cancers, the malignancy. Uh, people get scared about radiation that they think that it is something hot or something cold they'll experience. That's, you know, there's a general term which people use is sikai. That sikai hone wali hai. Sikai is something hot or painful. No, it is not like that. Radiation is just as simple like CT scan or x-rays. Patient will come, lie down on the table and gantry will rotate different angles are set up and after five minutes patient is out from the radiation area definitely patient has to be alone in the radiation area but uh, the radiation, radiation per se will not uh, he will not experience anything about the radiation it's the sh initial tre treatment time is also very smooth uh, there is no pain patient can comfortably go to their schools kids can attend to their uh, patient can comfortably go to their offices uh, kids can attend to the schools ladies can work in the home so radiation will not produce any much side effects initially but later on, definitely the radiation has little side effects as per the area we are treating. Like suppose if we are treating the head and neck areas, there will be little difficulty in swallowing or little mouth ulcers. But we are giving the medications for that during the treatment. We will be seeing on the weekly basis. For the local site like breast, there will be little dryness of the skin, erythema, the darkness of the skin. Or if in the pelvis, there can be little burning urination or little diarrhea. But all these side effects are minimal and they can be easily taken care by because of the technology, the machine, the state of art facilities we are providing with and plus the uh, conservative and symptomatic treatments. Like uh, we are uh, nowadays every cancer center is well equipped with linear accelerators, high-end linear accelerators and uh, there are uh, there is IMRT that is intensity modulatory radiotherapy, there is image guided radiotherapy which will concise precisely on the target tissue and sparing the normal tissue. So the side effects are, minim, min, are minimal and whatever the side effects that can be easily taken care by symptomatic and conservative treatment. A patient can lead a normal healthy life and uh, uh, the, sometimes radiation is also uh, concomitant, will, con, 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 concomitant is given with the chemotherapy that weekly chemotherapy is given while radiation is Monday to Friday five days a week. Daily patient has to come for one to two minutes and uh, for five to ten minutes but in the machine there is just one minute a patient gets the radiation and they are out of the machine then they can go back home having a healthy normal life so uh, what we wish after radiation is that if surgery is required patient goes on for surgery or if uh, chemo is required patient will continue with the chemotherapy uh, later on the follow-ups are done patient usually leaves a healthy normal life with no with or minimal chronic side effects for radiation also we always wish them a good uh, healthy life and cure from the treatment thank you